as well, no doubt. Jerome's on now, big Tottenham fan. What are you saying, brother? Hey, Terry. Okay. Egal just got me triggered today. I mean, like, seriously, man. You come up. I respect what, whenever he has something to say, but today, all your reason was piss poor, my man. And I'm talking straight to you, Egal. Everything you said was piss poor today. I mean, like, blaming the ref? Are you being serious? Like, the ref got every single thing right. And if you're going to say this was not a penalty, come on, man. Seriously, if Son get the header, it was a header on goal. So, pretty much, that is a full-on penalty, okay? There's nothing to say about it. And then to say that Son should have got, like, a yellow card, there's VAR for what? What for? There was nothing there. Son don't, did not even touch him. Okay, let's just make this thing clear. Everything he said was just piss poor. All right, your team came to a North London derby, and everybody was talking about it was the biggest North London derby I was ever gonna have, which is the biggest North London derby ever. But it was just shit. Your team came in and came with a whimper. They were shit. All right, and all respect to Colleen as well because she's the only one on here that was actually real. Pissed off and didn't come up with any reason at all and didn't give her team any freaking reasons as to why they came to this North, North London Derby and just did nothing out of this. All right? That's all I have to say today because don't talk about... And suddenly all of you Arsenal fans are going, oh, it's all doom and gloom. Would you beat Chelsea? You beat like a Chelsea that didn't do anything. You beat like a piss pool United and you are, oh, we are the best team in the world, best youngest team in England. And now you're all like, what? Now the all doom and gloom. Not too sure if you're going to win top four and everything. You come on. We all shit. None of us deserve to be in the Champions League. All right? So shut the hell up. I'm so sick of listening to Arsenal fan going, oh, whenever we win, and this guy, whenever I don't know who the fuck his name is, was in his car going, oh, best young team in the world. Oh, Tottenham, you're shit. And blah, blah, blah. We're the best youngest young team in the world. And we're going to be winning. And we can hear Champions League. Shut the hell up, man. You don't deserve anything. The same as us, we don't deserve that Champions League. So shut up. Unless you improve your team, then you can get something out of this. If you want to go to the Champions League next season, yeah. Go for it and get embarrassed as you will always have, all right? So just shut up and just talking nonsense. When your team plays shit, just save your shit, all right? <laughs> That's all I have to say to you guys. <laughs> Thank you, now, man. Do you know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna say to that, Jerome? We've been calling for this on the terrace for ages. Fans being fans, not politicians, not yeah. you know, not ducking questions your fans out here i get if you're hosting something i get if you're like you know media trained professional you've got to hold it in when you're a fan well done and thank you for being a, a fan jerome love it my friend we'll speak again soon brother see ya. take care take see ya. care i love the bit goes we're all shit <laughs> but it, it is kind of, right. it, it is so it is so true though isn't yeah. it like